in this video i am going to show how you can combine or concatenation two cells to create a new cells or two column to create a new column okay so the new column also called calculated column and i am using four different tools to show these things which is sql server power bi excel and python so i'm going to take an example for each one for take a first name and last name and then create a full name so let's get started i'm going to show you first with a sql server so let's open the sql server here is my sql server i'm going to take uh, the database adventure work go to the table pick up one of the okay i'm going to take the table is person and person dot person so right click and select of thousand rows so here is the table I'm going to make it very simple just keep it uh, first name and last name here so just delete all the other column from here and also delete the middle name all right so now if we run this you will see only the first name and last name from this table all right so first name and last name so how i can create a full name from here so just in order to create you just need to write the full name and then we have to add the first name and last name together for sql server we always use the plus sign okay so just take the first name and then you put a plus sign and then take the last name all right so now if you run it here you get the full name all right so but did you see the full name here there is a no space between the first name and last name so what you need to do just put another plus sign over here and in between two plus sign put the single quotation with this space all right so now if you run it here you will see the space between this first name and last name so that's how you can concatenate the first name and last name or anything any type of column you wanted to concatenate you have to use the plus sign for the sql server but how about others when you goes to the excel so here is the same first name and last name so we wanted to create a full name so anything any formula you use in excel you have to start with the equal sign and then you put the cell number so what is the cell number here the side is a2 so you just put click on this here it is a2 and then if you put the plus sign it's not gonna work for excel here you have to use the concatenation sign and then again you put the last name like a b2 so now if you enter it it will give the name then again you have to put the space between these two similarly you have to put the double quotation here in between the two in person sign all right so now if you enter it it will give you the space between the two names so now you just highlight and this is in the corner if you double click on this plus sign here it will fill up the all the names see now it fill up all the name here so that's how you can concatenate or join in a excel between the two names first name or last name all right so this is in excel so now we can do that also in a power bi and another tool is a python so let's go to the uh, power bi first go to the power bi so that this is a power bi tools those who are familiar with the power bi tools power bi tools also we can do that some transform transform data so if you click over here see there is a another pop-up page open it is a transform data it is power query editor okay here you can do lot of um, modification 
transform you can do by using the manually manually you can do so if you wanted to do the full name over here you need to go to the add column and then custom column and then here you can give it the full name and simply you need to select the first name insert it and then you have to do that here also like Excel you have to use the in person sign and for a space you have to put the double quotation and then you put the in-person again and then you bring the last name here so this is exactly like a, they use the M code uh, Power BI use the M code like Excel so exactly like Excel over here so you can say okay you can see with a space a uh, full name here all right so Power BI also you can use DAX formula okay so in order to using the DAX formula what you have to do let's the let's close and apply here go to the file close and apply this will go to the table into the power bi since it's going to load to the tables so click on the tables now you can see when it is we already created the full name uh, in editor page and close and apply it comes to the table but here we can do a lot of DAX formula so we how to do the using the DAX formula so let's delete that and we're gonna recreate again by using the DAX formula so delete this yes all right so in order to create a full name in a, using the DAX formula you can right click any place in the table and then you can go to the new column or you can go to the any other there are a number of places you can click and create the new column so just new column all right so here just give the name full name so we are using the DAX formula so in order to do the DAX formula you have to use the table name and then the column name so our table name is people here so automatically you can see the people first name all right so after that that similarly you just use the concatenation you can use uh, m person and then you put the space between two and then put the m person and then you bring the last name again people last name so now if you click yes here so it will give you the full name with a space all right so that's how you create the uh, full name or you can join two cells okay all right so this is that's how we do it in a power bi so now the at the end now i wanted to see also how we can do it in a um, python tools okay so python tools here i am showing that uh, it is actually colab uh, for google colab google colab is a online version for jupyter notebook so so this is just work like a jupyter notebook but it is it is on a online google colab okay so here is how we can join here is a here you can just write to name so now we wanted to join the first name John with last name Whitehead so here also we have to use the not the concatenation or in person we have to use the plus sign here okay so this John okay so if you wanted to join these two so it will just run it it will give the john white head is a one name so similarly over here also you have to put the quotation space and if you put the space in order to put the space you have to similarly you have to put two plus sign and then uh, 
uh, double quotation with the space so if you run it it will give you the space all right so what other way we can we can do it if you can tool okay so we don't want it to do that we just want it to uh, so add code cell here we just add in sales so we can do it in another way also just we can create the variable if you use a equals to and give the name a equals to john b equals to whitehead then c equals to b a plus b a plus then you can put again you need to put a space a plus b so in order to see the value you have to put c again so now if you run it you will see the john whitehead is a is this you know, first name and last name create the full name all right so that's how you can do different different tools and you can use different way but what we have seen over here for sql server and python we you have to use the plus sign in order to join combine two name or two cells but on the other hand for excel and power bi you have to use concatenation for concatenation you have to use in person sign all right so simple is that so thank you thank you for watching